Okay, I'm going to be wrapping up our session for today by talking about the tips and tricks for central lymph node biopsy. Uh, I'm not going to focus so much on the surgical technique because I'm sure pretty much anyone who does this from a surgical perspective does it well, but just uh, try to bring to your realization that it's often what happens prior to surgery uh, that will cause a false negative uh, central lymph node biopsy and sabotage you, not so much what you do in the operating room. <clears throat> so uh, a couple of things to start, if, uh, start off with. Uh, the definition of a central lymph node, this is surprisingly fluid. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the important technical aspects just as a reminder, uh, show you a quick video, and then finally review the causes of a false negative central lymph node biopsy. So what exactly is a central lymph node? You know, when I ask the residents this question, all of, it's one of those things, all of them kind of know what it is, but it's hard to verbalize it. The textbook definition is that it is the initial lymph node that drains directly from the site of the primary lesion. And it could be a single lymph node, which it is the majority of the time, or it could be double or more, which it is 20% uh, of the time. But what is the clinical definition? Is it the hottest lymph node? Is it the bluest lymph node? It is, is it the first lymph node that's either hot or blue? Uh, all of those are correct in their own way. So the way we define it clinically is a little different from the way it's defined physiologically. Clinically, it is a central lymph node is any lymph node that is blue and all lymph nodes that have greater than 10% of the count of the hottest lymph node. I think that is a safe definition based on our current technique of how to perform a central lymph node biopsy. And when I do my dictations, I always verbalize that this is what I'm calling a sentinel lymph node. So patient selection is important. If you're going to have a false negative rate of 5% or less, uh, the preparation for that, as with all things surgical, starts in the clinic, not in the operating room. There are some relative contraindications to a central lymph node biopsy. And these are relative contraindications because they disrupt the flow of lymph node, uh, of lymph to the lymph node, the regional lymph node. Prior surgery, you will often see patients who've had a wide local excision by a dermatologist or someone else and has, have now been sent to you for completion surgery and a central lymph node biopsy. Often these incisions are oriented transversely across an extremity effectively cutting 